Hey guys, and welcome to another uh, Marvel Legends review. I am Tom from the Geek Culture Podcast. Obviously, today we're going to be looking at Marvel's Namor uh, from the Legends series. It is a Walgreens exclusive. Uh, this is from the line with Captain America, Black Panther, uh, Iron Man, Mark 46, Nuke, Nick Fury, and Red Guardian. Uh, so very cool addition to um, to this line. As you guys can see, he's got a couple of hand accessories, but we're going to check those out later. Uh, we're going to start with this uh, with his staff. Uh, it's pretty huge. It's actually way bigger than he is, which we will also get into later. Try to stick it in his uh, his shittily made hands. As you guys can see, he's got some decent head articulation. Uh, I really dig the hair mold on him. Um, it comes up as kind of like a Wolverine-esque uh, on his sides. He's got good movement on the side of his head. He does turn left and right pretty well. Uh, as you can see, he's got his peg hole in the back. Uh, as far as arm movement go, we are doing all right with his, uh, his right arm. His left arm does get caught up a little bit on the top of his vestment. Um, and it does pull on my figure. I don't know if this is something that you guys notice with yours. Uh, he does have a decent uh, body click uh, for his chest, uh, waist turn, top of his thigh, uh, double ankle, I'm sorry, double knee joints, uh, always really well. And I really dig, um, I really dig his feet uh, with the little wings on the back of his, uh, on the back of his shoes. Let's say they're shoes. All right, so here, now we're gonna look at his hands. Uh, as you guys can see, you can see uh, some daylight between his thumb on his right hand, but on his left hand, this super sucks. His thumb is molded to his forefinger, or to his pointer finger, and you cannot get, uh, you can't get that staff in his uh, in his left hand. So if, uh, if you guys are interested in customizing, I would say that's an easy little thing you can do is cut his thumb away from his pointer finger. Uh, but now we're gonna check out what his hands look like, which I'm not a super fan of. There's not enough articulation in the uh, in the shoulders to make his hands touch uh, on this figure. I really did try on this, um, and I, I kind of I understand the movement of uh, of Namor, um, but I, I I'm not a fan of the open palms. I feel like there's not a ton you can do with it. Um, it's more of like a like a Doctor Strange movement for me, or even I don't know. I'm I'm just not a I'm not a huge fan. I would have done for like a non-closed fist or even like a like a like a fist. Really, just a fist would have been pretty cool for for action poses. Um, but decent articulation in all of his arm movement. His hands do move uh, quite a bit as well uh, with a turn and a wrist. Uh, but now we're gonna check out this uh, this staff. As you guys can see, it's bigger than him. Um, it's it's significantly bigger. I wish I could have. Yeah, let me see. I got a ruler right here. It's approximately eight inches. It might be exactly. Yeah, let's go. Let's go seven and a half inches. So it's significantly bigger than him, and um, it does not fit great in his hand because it is so thick, uh, which I try to show you guys. But um, it works well for a uh, a prop. So, and by prop, I don't mean literal prop. I mean to to balance Namor, you can use a third pivot point as as this prop. But it is pretty cool. It's huge though. Um, as you guys can see here, it is touching the ground, and I do use it as uh, a third prop, which is kind of cool. It gives you a little bit more of a variation for poseable movements, but um, with that open hand, I just I just don't feel it for, for action poses. All right, but let's talk briefly about the paint. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. The detail that is on his vestment is absolutely insane uh, with those uh, light blue scales. And they divide perfectly between the black, as you guys can see on the front, and even the skin tones on uh, on Namor are absolutely incredible. And they don't touch or blend well with that attached belt at, at, at all, uh, as well as the gold on his cuffs and his hand. But all in all, an awesome figure. Thanks for checking out another video from the Geek Culture Podcast YouTube channel. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we do a bunch of other different stuff. We do movies, television, video games, and even tech reviews. So hit that button if you haven't already and uh, check out our other social media. Thanks. See you guys next time.